combat by the Tisha Elizabeth Lanton. We fled, for there was brave thou a dishonored grave, but they was lost, and his red hand was now upon a broken brand. The force when its native tone forgets the force the walls for down, owning city lit for sky, or that event to do but fly, fly to the mountain rock where yet a wench might strike or peace forget. They fled, for she was by his side, life's last and loveliest link, his bride. Friends, fame, hope, freedom, all were gone, or lingered only with the one. We hastened by the lonely way, and through the winding forest lay, half home at our temple blazed behind, and shout and shriek came on the wind. And twice the warrior turned again and cursed the arm that now in vain, wounded and faint, eased the crest, sword that trembled in its clasp. At last we reached the secret shade, which seemed as for the safety made. And there the pause, the warm tide burst in red gushes from her sight, and hung the drops on brow and cheek, as guess breath came thick and weak. She took her long dark hair, and bound the cool moss on each gaping wound, in a closed-up hand she brought the water which his hot lips sought, and anxious gazed upon his eye, as asking, shall we live or die? Almost as she fought his breath, and for her own life and death. And hark, does not the wind deceives, with a step among the leaves, as blood runs cold, heart beats high, and is the fiercest enemy. He of a charmed and deadly steer, whose stroke was never known to heal. He of a sword sworn not to spare, she flung it down in her despair. The dying chief sprang to his knee, and the stone to bones well fearfully. But his gashed arm, what is it now? Levered his lip, black as brow. Over him the slayer stood, as we almost scorn the blood. It costs a little to be won. His strikes, the work of death is done.